Which occupiers are flocking to brick and mortar? This might sound strange, but it's the DTC retailer. It seems kind of counterintuitive because DTC means direct to consumer. And that indicates a predominantly e-commerce or online sales channel. Hey, I'm Matt Jafoon. I'm the co-founder of Occupier. And today we're going to break down the top five reasons DTC retailers are moving to brick and mortar. As consumer shopping has re-emerged in the post-pandemic era, we're seeing human nature prevail. And basically what that means is people want to interact with the brands that they love and that are in their community. So DTC companies are racing to fill that void and build out brick and mortar storefronts to meet their consumers where they're at. So let's break these down. Here are the top five reasons why DTC retailers are flocking to brick and mortar. Number one, increase brand awareness. This might be the most important thing because if you're only scrolling your phone, you're basically only interacting with that brand in the digital universe. What brick and mortar stores allow DTC brands to do is showcase their brands and products in a different way. It's not possible online. By physically touching, seeing, and trying on the goods that you're trying to buy online, you build a deeper level of trust in that brand. It results in increased brand awareness and brand affinity. Number two, enhanced customer experience. Physical stores offer customers an experience that just buying online cannot offer. They can try on products before buying. They can ask questions. They can connect with the brand and the people to receive personalized recommendations. This can lead to increased customer satisfaction and loyalty. Number three, the adoption of the cluster retail models. Mixed-use commercial real estate empowers community-oriented shopping. So retailers who share a similar customer profile can open their doors adjacent to each other and allow for a more immersive buying experience. For example, you can do a spin class in the morning, you can stop by your favorite smoothie joint and grab an acai bowl, and then maybe even head to your favorite athletic retail and grab some fresh new threads. Number four, convenience. Customers, they want flexibility and they want convenience in the way that they shop. More and more, people are buying online and then picking up in store. Sometimes they're even attending locally brand-related events. What this does, it allows the customer to bridge the gap between the digital and the physical buying journey, and it gives more customer options to people who are looking to engage with brands. Number five, customer research. For DTC brands, digital data is purely quantitative. Brick and mortar stores gather qualitative data from in-person conversations, which gives your team real-time feedback that can be overlooked with a pure DTC model. Retail is evolving at a rate that we have never seen. The sound brick and mortar real estate strategy is going to separate the DTC brands from their big box counterparts with an emphasis on community, convenience, and an awesome in-person customer-centric buying experience. Let us know how your brand is tackling its DTC to brick and mortar retail strategy.